right, we are going to do a fan favorite with you today. It's our compound uh, workout, little compound exercises with some cardio. Yeah, yes, everybody likes this one. It's a good workout. Mm -hmm. You'll get a good burn, mm -hmm. upper, lower, hits everything, so. Yep, so we're gonna start with our 20 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds of break, uh, cardio just to get our heart rate going. Uh, our four exercises are skiers, um, fast feet, jumping jack, and boxing. So we're going to start off with a little bit of a cardio hit here. And we'll start in three, two, one with skiers. It didn't it's going to be hard not to um, work out with music, I but know. turn on your music at home, okay? Oh, she's not. Break. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. More well, I'm not good with technology. <laughs> and fast feet. And suddenly my timer's quiet. <laughs> I don't know. I always have the loud timer. So you're just moving your feet fast. Tight core. Yeah. Almost there. Two, one, break. Jumping jacks are next. Think about keeping that core nice and tight. Good pace on the jumping jacks. Three, two, there we go. She is. We like to go to the side and the front with our arm movements. You can slow it down or speed up. Two, one. Break. Last one is boxing. boxing. <laughs> Same thing on this one. Two, one. If you're feeling winded, you're gonna slow it down. Feeling good, keep your pace up. The more you extend, the more you're gonna use that, get that cardio going. The closer it is, the little bit less cardio. Keep this core tight. Three, two, one. Done. First cardio session done. Now we've got two compound exercises for you. The first one is the plank row rear raiser. It's gonna be like a renegade row. It's gonna look something like this. Tuck in all my parts here. <clears throat> I've got two weights and I'm in that nice plank position, which means my butt's not up, my hips aren't sagging here. My shoulders and wrists are lined up and I'm gonna row, row, rear razor, rear razor. That's that one. That counts as one. Okay. I'm gonna do six sets of those. I'm just gonna do it in the yep. left of the core. Okay, so you're just row, row, rear razor, rear razor, that's one. Row, row, Rear razor, rear razor two. You'll notice on my rear razor, my leg doesn't get nearly as oh. high as my buddy <laughs> Cindy here. I don't know about That's that. That's okay. When you do your rows, think about keeping that core tight. I think that's the last one here. So that you have very little sway in your hips when you're pulling up those for those rows. We're gonna combine that with a little core to give your um, body a little bit of a chance to catch its breath and get together, get itself together. <laughs> you're gonna just do um, a sit up with a cross cross punch. All right, we're gonna do 12 of those. So just one, think about a nice tight core. Try to come up as strong as you can and not do a roll. Try right. to just come up nice and Powerful strong. Powerful move. You counting? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna give it, that was seven, set six, that was six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12. Excellent. Is that it? That's it. All okay. right, we're gonna back, go back to our A yeah. exercise here. Now, if at any time you need a break, just pause it. 
get a drink, then come back to us, okay? Yes, these are all counted reps at your own pace. So we have, again, you need to. we've got the row. Okay, I'm gonna count. <laughs> Cindy doesn't believe my count. No, no, I just know I got my is a legitimate concern. That's two. Take a nice strong core. Three. Try not to sway. Right there is where Four. you gotta keep that core tight. What's your count? Six. Ah, we're on the same page. <laughs> Six. Good, good, good. Back to the your- The beauty of compound is that it's gonna keep your heart rate up without having to do cardio. Yes. <laughs> okay. You're gonna count these two? I got it. All right, okay. here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Aha! Well done, well done. All right, we've got another pair to show you here. One is the reverse lunge shoulder Step press, and it'll be the first one we do with you I'll here. With Meg's, yeah. got the, Meg's got the heavier weight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're just gonna step back into that reverse lunge, so you make a nice step back. Drop that back knee, whoops. Drop the back knee, and you're gonna press up. That front knee there is at a 90, you can see. Then you're gonna then alternate, alternate to the next, the other leg. 90, close to the Press ground up. here, but not touching. And back up, okay? You're counting one, two, so you're gonna do six on each side. So we're alternating, I'm not gonna lie, that takes a little bit of additional <laughs> effort does. for me, so let's see how we do. Press. Seven. Two. Three. Keep that core nice and tight. Last one. No. <laughs> this is why Cindy's Seven. in charge always. Eight. Nine. Ten. Almost. Eleven. Keep that core tight. Twelve. Good, good, good. Now we've got uh, our... Uh, what was that? Oh, oh, I know what it is. I was like, what is our writing? We can't read our writing. I can't read my own writing, which also doesn't surprise anyone. So, for this one, I have bent legs here, straight arm. I'm going to bring up this elbow to opposite knee, crunch. I'm going to do 12 on this side, and then I will switch and do 12 on the other side. Okay. Bring your torso up to your knee. Do not bring your knee down to you. Okay, that will stay right there at that 90. Here we go. Two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I'll hit the other take side. Take a break if you need to take a break right there. Other arm is straight. That other arm goes behind my head, and we go up one, two, three, four. Remember, you're coming up to your knee. Uh oh. Eight. Thanks. <laughs> uh, 10, 11, 12. Good, good, good. Oh, it's always good to have Cindy here. <laughs> <laughs> it takes two of us to equal one. Yeah, to make one, one full thought. <laughs> Which leg are you going back and Sometimes we don't make one full thought. So and we're sometimes really it's only about 70%. <laughs> All right. Ready? One. one. Remember to keep your core tight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, Oops. seven, my fault. Eight, nine, 
nine, 10, 11, and 12. Nice work. I'll hit this core one more time. Try on it this way so I'm not. Here we go. <laughs> Again, those bent legs, straight arm, hand behind head. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good, good, good. Switch sides, bent legs, straight arm. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Nice. Not gonna lie, somewhere in that count I panicked that I messed it up. Oh, you had it. You're <laughs> good, you're good, you're good. Okay. okay, get a drink and take a break if you need to. We're gonna come back and do that cardio hit one time and we'll move on to the next. So remember, we start with our skiers here. Let's go in three, two, one, Begin. go. Keep your core tight. Your adjustment here is the higher my arms go, the higher my heart rate. If you're feeling it's too high, bring your arms yes, down. You just do just boxer shuffle is what we call this. Three, two, one. Good. We'll reset for fast feet. Fast feet. Keep that core that tight. Nice low Three, impact cardio. Two. Channel your that inner works. football player here. With no music, listening to yourself breathe <laughs> is painful. It is. <laughs> so hopefully there. you have more music. <laughs> yes. Play it on your end. It's much better. Almost there. Three, two, one. Good, good, good. Reset jumping jacks. for jumping jacks. Remember, same thing Three, with that, with the tempo. Two, so if you're feeling winded, just keep your arms down low. If you're feeling okay, you can take the full range. Yep. Some people have trouble with jumping jacks. You can go back to skiers if it's bothering your shoulders. That, yeah, if that motion bothers you. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Final boxing is the boxing. <laughs> and like we said, the slower you go, Three, the less motion you have, one. the more. Um, a little bit of a, a breather it gives you. Yes. The more extension and the faster you go, the more cardio it is. If you can stay low and your stance great, if you need to come up a little bit, that's okay too. Three, two, one. Good, good, good. Yes. I always feel I've got my right hand, it's great. <laughs> Left hand, it just doesn't quite get it. All right, All right our next series of uh, compound movements. We are going to do the deadlift wide row. Oh my, oh yeah, it's awesome. Okay, <laughs> this one, the deadlift, you definitely can do um, a heavier weight. It's going to be dependent on the row, okay? What is so, the row weight? <laughs> the first time we do it, we're going to do it with toes in, right? Yes. So, so my deadlift stance, my feet are about shoulder width apart. I'm going to turn those toes in just slightly. You'll feel it in a little bit of a different spot. My knees are still soft and I'm hinging at the hips. As I come down, my eyes go right here. They stay right in front of right in front of my she feet. Has that nice I don't want my neck. neck up here. Nice neutral neck, and these dumbbells are riding all along the fronts of her shins and her thighs. And as I come up, I think glutes and hammies and just stand straight up. So you're coming down. When I get down here to add the, the wide row, as I come down, I'm gonna come out into that row, bring those elbows out, come back down, and then stand up. So this is your motion. Down, row, down, back up. Okay? Good, good. And your toes count slightly in 12. Your count of those is 12. Okay, so slight turn of the toes. Here we go. Down your shins. Down. Wide. Out. Glutes and hand strength. Two. Wide. Good. Three. Four. 
Make sure you've got that nice neutral neck. Five. Looking five. down between your feet. I did not. I was like, yeah. Wide row. Eight. That's why it's always good to have a workout buddy. Yep. Nice. <laughs> <That's what I> <laughs> <do>. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. And last one. Twelve. Good. Nice. Good job. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, our core that we're going to work on with that is just a side oblique, simple side oblique crunch. So we're going to do, uh, what do we decide? Rubs on that. I say 10 each side. 10 each side. So for me, when I do my side oblique crunch, I'm laying down and I have my arm that's along the ground out straight. I put my other hand here behind my head and I crunch and out. That's my side oblique crunch. So we're gonna do 10 on one side. See, I'm on my hips. Don't lay back on it. Try to keep those hips as vertical as you can and crunch, okay? And if you can extend that elbow out a little bit, open it up a little bit at the top of your shoulders, you'll get more of a range of motion. Open here. Yeah. Yeah, okay? So here we go. One, Two, if you hear popping in your hips, don't panic. That's just air. For us, it's like a little music here, listening to our hips. Was that eight? 10, I can go to 10. Okay, we'll good. We'll do an extra one just in case. You can stop at 10 when you get to 10. <laughs> Someday <laughs> we'll have one of those earlier. fancy counting machines. Maybe. Okay, <clears throat> other side. I've got a straight arm, I'm on my hip behind my head and here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> you need more room than I do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. That for sure was ten. That was ten. <laughs> We're gonna go back again to that deadlift. Remember to take a break whenever you need to take a break and you can slow Pause this it. down. Pause it, get a sip of water, whatever you need to do. This time, we're going to have our toes turned out Outward slightly a bit. for the deadlift. Knees are still soft. Still gonna look for that spot between my yep. feet. Down. Down. Good. Two. Two. Think of a nice, strong core when you're doing this. Three. Squeeze those shoulder blades in the back. Four. Five, six, seven. Also the tempo of this, if you need to slow this down. Eight. They're your reps. Slow it down if you feel the need. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Almost there. Almost done. Yeah. 12. Good. Good. We'll get those obliques in one more time. Make sure my say, I better say has more away room from over the there. wall. The short I'm okay this way, but I don't it's the need other much direction. room. I don't need much room at all. <laughs> all right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, we're good. We'll switch sides. Yeah. I'm gonna switch I know. Switch directions. Do it a different way. What's the best way to go about this? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Oops. eight. Shoot. <laughs> Nine. I was doing good. 10. Ah. All right. All right. You're getting close. Almost there. The next one, yeah. next combination is the sumo squat oh, plus the bicep curl. You're gonna use one heavier weight this time. A weight that you can hold kind of like this. With two, two hands. So in the sumo squat, you know, we have a, an exaggerated stance with our knees 
and toes going in the same direction here. I'm holding my dumbbells by the ends. My shoulders are set, my torso is upright. I go down to do the sumo squat. Get as low as you can, keeping the torso upright. You don't wanna bring that torso forward. Down, I curl, and then come up. When I curl, those elbows stay right here by my side, <clears throat> curl. When she does that, you can't see any air or any, any, um, any room in between her elbow and her body. Right there. When you get and down there, up. you don't want to curl with it out like this, okay? And also notice when Cindy's in that sumo, she's thinking about these knees are back. Immediately your glutes are activated with You don't that. want your knees to come up. Okay, so we've got a 12 count on those. Let's see if we can get that right. So here we chest go. Up, chest back, down, down curl. Keep up. those elbows in nice and tight. Squeeze those Two. knees back. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good job. Nine. Up the knees. Hopefully your thighs are burning. Eleven. Twelve. Wow. Nice. Shake that out. Bird dog. So the next thing that you're going to do is bird dog. We're going to do ten on each side. So <laughs> I'm going to get down into a tabletop position. I'm bringing my knee to my elbow. If you feel like you're really hunching, just bring your hand to your knee. The most important part is the extension out. Forward a little bit. Right? <laughs> extension out. So right there. I'm using that hand straight out, and that leg's going straight back. It comes together and straight out again. Okay? We're gonna do 10 each side. Alright, so on the one. I did opposite. Two, it's okay. <laughs> Whoops, three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Three steps to the, the other, other side. side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Nice work, nice balance. Okay. Same more balance than you think. That's a lot of core with those bird dogs. Same thing, if those bird dogs or any of the exercises take you a little longer, pause it, finish your number out, get a and drink then of water if you drink, need it. Yeah. And then come back to us, okay? So we're gonna go back to that again. Back to the sumo. So your feet wide stance. That dumbbell starts in the down position. I think that's the biggest thing that everybody has trouble with. Yes. Remember. What, what do I do with that? Because we yeah. want to start here and then you get down. So, yeah. so, so you're starting down. Down. We're going to go down. down curl. One. Think about a nice straight torso. Keep those knees back. Four. Five. Elbows in nice and tight. Six. Nice. Seven. Upright torso. Eight. Nine. You're almost Knees done. Back, push through the heels. Ten. <clears throat> Eleven. Twelve. Good, good, good. Oh, I am a sweating machine here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Here we go, back to bird it. dogs. Oh. Ten each side, get set, shoulders over wrists, and we go, touch and extend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Reset. 
Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Good job. Another set down. Very good. This is what working another, out with glasses looks like. Yes. Another cardio, and this is your last of the cardio. Last one. Remember, we start with skiers here. So here we go. Skiers. Three, two, one. Begin. Go. So if you did your warm-up in the beginning, that should have been about five minutes. You should be at about 32 minutes, something like that now, if you need. To finish up at 32 Three, minutes, 30 two, minutes, one, break, rest. finish up with this cardio and you can be done. If you have time, you want to move on to the next set with us, stick with us. Three, we got another set two, for you. Fast one, speed. Begin. Tight core. Keep the feet moving. Poor Cindy has to listen to me. No, I can hear my breathing <laughs> too. It's like a Woo! lot worse than music. Uh, almost there. Keep them moving. Three, two, one. Nice. Rest. Jumping jacks. Remember jumping, jumping jacks. jacks. Keep it in close. You, you could also, break. if that's too much arm for you, Three, <coughs> lots of variations one. on that. Begin. Good job. Last cardio set. Last one. Remember I said if it was bothering you, you can switch it to skiers. Almost there. Two. One. Good. Rest. And last one, boxing. You got the boxing. Ooh. Shoe tie. Three, two, one. There we go. Begin. Keep a nice pace on that if you can. Nice extension. The more you extend, the more you move those arms, the higher you get your cardio rate up. Again, if being low is too much, Three, bring it up. Just keep two, that core tight. One. All right. Good. Good, good, good. Good job. <coughs> oh, okay. We're doing goblet with a shoulder press. If you're familiar with the goblet squat, you know your feet are about shoulder width apart. Think about just like wiping your feet off on a rug. My toes are slightly facing outward. I hold on to this dumbbell up high, and I think about a nice proud chest. Kind of pull those shoulder blades back in. I squat down. See how our chest is still I'm upright to keep my and proud. Chest upright. As I come up, you want to pull this up. The key to this is you want to make sure that when you're coming forward, you're not coming out here. Okay? When you come forward, you want to come this straight up. This is tight and she's protecting that lower back. Down. Squat, tight, up. Good. Okay? Grab this. So we've got 12 of those. You're so, going to like what we finish with. We promise. Stick with yes. us. We're almost you get to there. lay on the ground. <laughs> We're almost there. So, I wipe my feet on the mat. I get my dumbbell against my chest, proud this chest, and let's go down. So, one, pass. Two, oops. Yeah, my feet are a little far away. Mine were a little wide. Mine were too. Make adjustments. You got to do what feels comfortable. Is that four? <laughs> yep, this is five. five. Yeah. Six. Press Seven. through those heels. Eight, keep that proud chest, nine, ten, good, almost up there, tight core, twelve, press, good, 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 good. Now, we need pairs. We do. I so, got the twenties, I can do the twenties. Here, there's those at the end. So, glute raise, chest press is our next combo exercise. The glute raise, we all know, is quite simply, my legs are bent here, my back is down on the floor, and I'm pressing through those heels, lifting up those glutes. I'm not flexible enough to actually get an arch here on my back. If you are, you wanna be very careful that you do not do that. Okay, if you feel it in your lower back, it means you're pushing up too high and not squeezing your glutes quite enough. 
So I'm through the heels, squeeze right there. Keep that, you're gonna keep those hips elevated that entire time. Here I've got my weights for the chest press. The key here on this is where are my arms? Cindy and I like to visualize the arrow. So if my trunk is the rod of that arrow, my arms are the point. And we want that angle right about here. Here is too, way too much on those shoulders. So you want your arm angle right about here for your chest press. So my glutes are up, I'm pressing through that heel, arms are at the right angle, and I press and down. Press and down. Now if that's too much for you to keep your glutes up the whole time, you can bring it down, up, press, down. I like to keep it up because it's less movement. It's right? less, it's less movement. movement. I agree. Quite simply, it's easier for me to I remember. Me so so let's remember, count get those these. arms at that at that 45 when you get ready. Pull those feet in nice and tight and glutes and squeeze, up. Glutes, glutes and up. let's press. One. One. Two, two, three, those weights. squeezing those glutes. And those weights are coming right over my chest here when I press up. Good, pushing through those heels. Keep that core engaged and make sure you're not feeling that in the lower back. Is that nine? I had, yep, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, good, good, good. I let my hips drop a little bit. Ugh. Okay, there we go. We're gonna go back to that goblet. Goblet shoulder press here. And this is our finisher. So once you're done with this, That's you're it. all done. That's it, mission accomplished. So grab the head of that dumbbell, get into that good goblet stance, down with a proud chest. Here we go. Tight core press, one, two, three, four, five, six. The other thing of no music, is you hear all of our popping. <laughs> Knees, hips, whatever it is. Do you have this as 10? Uh -uh. I think that's it. Oh, good, even better. <laughs> I think that was it. Okay. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I start talking and things happening. <laughs> uh, back for our glute raise chest press. This is it. So I, I was have to remind myself to reset those glutes halfway through. I don't think I did last time, and my your glutes start to fall as you're thinking about pressing. So when you get really to about think. six, think about are you pressing those glutes up through the heels? Squeeze in there at the top. All right, let's get our glutes set. Your glutes set, get those arms set at that 45. And here we go. One, two, I'm gonna change my angle here. Three, squeeze those glutes. Four, you all can keep me accountable for how high five, my glutes are here. Six, I just reset. Seven, really squeeze the glutes. Eight, nine, 10, reset. 11, 12. Yes. Nice work. The beauty of doing the upper and the lower at the same time is that you're challenging your whole body. It boosts your metabolism. It burns more calories. Anytime, yeah, you, you combine an upper and a lower, a compound exercise is gonna get that heart rate going. It just has so many benefits and we're such multitaskers mm -hmm. that we say, why not? Right. So it's a good one to add to your repertoire for strength, for cardio conditioning. Uh, this is just a good full body, yep. full and body workout. If you can finish with a stretch, that's a good thing to finish with a stretch. We got a stretching video. We have the stretching video and we'll put a link to that after this. So remember always to warm up and always to stretch afterwards. Nice, nice job. job. Nice, nice job. job.